What's up guys? A while back ago I posted a video, 7 things you must do with your Nexus 7. If you haven't seen the video, go ahead and click on that link down below and I promise you, you won't be disappointed. You guys asked me to do 10 things that you can do with your Nexus 10 and I have a lot of great applications for you to install, so let's get started. Since the Nexus 10 has a gorgeous display and a very high resolution, the very first thing that you want to do is download Super Video. Super Video allows you to watch movies or videos that are on your internal storage in a pop-up format. This is a really nice app that allows you to do what it is that you need to do, whether it's browse the web, go on to a social network, Twitter, and still being able to watch a video on the side. The best thing about it is that you can resize it and stretch it to make it fit your needs. Speaking of pop-up, similar to Super Video, the other application that you want to download is called Floating Browser. Floating Browser allows you to do pretty much the same thing as Super Video, but this is browsing the web. This is another application that I find very useful as you can browse the web in a pop-up format. Now, Floating Browser may be a very useful browser, but it's not the fastest, and neither is Google Chrome. And this is why you need to download Naked Browser. Naked Browser on the Nexus 10 takes web browsing to a whole different level. You have very smooth scrolling, super fast transitions, and this is a must application for any Nexus 10 owner. The next on my list is Team Viewer. Again, since the Nexus 10 has a really beautiful display and a great form factor, it is always nice to be able to connect to your home PC using your tablet. And that's what TeamViewer allows you to do. It allows you to connect to your personal computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC, and you are able to easily control it with your Nexus 10 tablet for free. Now, if you're looking for more storage on your Nexus 10, look no further but to stick mount. Stick mount allows you to mount any USB stick onto your Nexus 10. You will need root access and a USB OTG cable to go with it. Another handy application is called DSLR controller. Now for you photographers or videographers out there, this is a great application that allows you to control your Canon DSLR using your Android Nexus 10. Now if you haven't seen my review on it, I'll leave that link down below and this application is very handy. And here's one that I always use is called Air Display. Air Display allows you to extend a display on your laptop, PC, or Mac. This can be very useful if you're looking to extend the workspace on your computer. The next on my list is Flipboard. Flipboard was one of the reasons why I always used the iPad. It is a great application to view news and now Flipboard is available for Android and it is a must on a Nexus 10. Now here's one that you would wish that would be part of Android's core and that is to hide the soft keys. But no worries, hide bottom bar allows you to do such thing. It allows you to hide the soft keys and let me tell you it becomes very useful especially for applications that you still can see the soft keys. The nice thing about this app is that you can just swipe up and the soft keys reappear again. This is a very useful app but it does require root access. And last but not least, you have the Ultimate Google Nexus 10 app. That's it. The Ultimate Google Nexus 10 app is the app that I'm talking about. And it is everything you need to know about your Google Nexus 10. You can get the latest rumors, software updates, tips, anything you need to know about the Google Nexus 10. That application, the Ultimate Google Nexus 10 app, is the one. So there you have it, guys. 10 things you can do with your Nexus 10. Remember, if you haven't seen my video, seven things that you can do with your Nexus 7, make sure you also watch that as you can also apply those applications to your Nexus 10 and vice versa. Anyhow guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like, please make sure you subscribe and like and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share this video with all your friends and family. I highly appreciate it and 2013 is going to be an awesome year of tech. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Adios.